Hey, when my grandpa was alive, he used to have a saying. He used to say, like brand new. And like brand new is what we're going to do today. We're going to get rid of that Chinese garbage that you buy. And we're going to make a good quality, affordable knife. And the way I recommend we do it is we use stuff that we have laying around. We got antlers that we tired of. We have too many on the wall. We got to get rid of some. So I look through them and you find the best antler you, you think would be, make a nice handle. And this one here suits me fine. I just took one of these old antlers and I sawed it out of here. Took the other end of this and I just took it right off where it fit my hand. So then you need hardened steel, something that holds an edge good. So I saw that off with a good fine tooth saw blade. And then I got my knife. And what I did was I laid the antler down here. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do a little closer view. So I laid the antler down there and I used this hole right here in the center to lower my blade de huh, depth and then I made a tang to go back that antler. It can't be too big because the antler just fits your handle and it needs to go back further in that curve. So I just sketched it out with, a nut, with this uh, pencil here and I made my curve but then once you get your curves where you want them you have to make a nice clear line with the sharpie and that's what I did I made straight lines because what we're going to use to cut this out once we get this figured where we want it and where it suits us we take a diamond uh, grinder wheel and these diamonds will cut right straight through it um, they're not expensive you can buy them at Harbor Freight Lose. To, uh, get our files out. I'll show you here. All right. So you got your blade cut out. Um, next, what I did was I just took a file and worked that blade round. And then what I did was once it got it round, I'm still working at it. You got to. Get that blade nice and sharp, uh, whatever angle you want, whatever you're doing, I'm going to try to make it real sharp for skin and beaver. And uh, then to put the tang in, I left the tang out so I could get down in there good. This is like a specialty, you can do whatever you want. And uh, I just took the drill in here. Make sure you get it nice and straight, put two holes, one right there, one right there. Get them down in. And there I took the tang down to there. Um, and what I did was I just took the two holes and wobbled that drill up and down until I got the slit. And I pushed that in there. And then uh, drilled it down through two holes to pin it. And all I used was wire. That's what we're using. We're using stuff we have. We're not going out to buy stuff. We're making stuff like brand new from the stuff we have. Um, I just took this wire down them holes, pounded it in, pounded it flat on the one side and bent it over and filed it down on each side once they're both flattened. And that holds good just like a rivet. You can use copper wire if you're doing a fancier knife. This is just to get the job done. Um, but you can just snip that wire right off however you want it and 
you're ready to go. You got yourself a nice knife for beaver skinning. Whatever you want. Any kind of specialty knife you want you can make just by using a couple simple tools that most people have. Um, I'll show you here. Nice knife for you. You can make anything you want. Make any sheath you want. Any size. So, I hope you guys like this. We're going to do more things. We're going to work on the forge, make knives, a uh, little better quality. But um, I hope you guys are watching. I'm going to have more for you trapping, hunting. We're going to go to some old settlements that have been abandoned years ago. And I'll talk to you guys later.